Open box products have always been slept on by the majority. People usually prefer to buy something that has that beautiful factory seal on it because they want to be the first person to get inside it. Yes, sir. What's going on, man? Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Well, that comes at the cost of paying full price for the item, assuming there's no discount on it. Well, in today's video, I'm gonna shop for open box PC parts at my local micro center to see how much money I can save. This should be an interesting video. What's happening guys, I'm Zach Soros. Welcome to Setup Warriors episode. Yo, Michael, what's up? Oi, oh, yeah, Eddie boy. Are you ready for the Tech Source Amsterdam meetup, yeah? We here keep asking about you, man. Yeah, soon enough, man. But you need to get me one of those local SIM cards this time. I'm not standing at the airport for hours for some overpriced crap. Oh, come on, brother. That's a thing of the past. Just use uh, Saley's eSIMs, for example. Oh, Saley. Hmm. Yeah, they're basically an eSIM service that works pretty much everywhere. You can forget about physical SIM cards or worry about data roaming. Basic example, I fly to Armenia every year. And with Saley, I can just sign up before my flight and forget about it. You just download the app, choose the country or region you're traveling to, pick your preferred plan, and you're set. Doesn't even take a minute. Saley is offering 15% off all eSIM data plans. So make sure to download the Saley app on Google Play or the App Store. And use code TechSource at checkout. That too. Okay, so what does an open box mean, first of all? Well, oftentimes it means an item was previously purchased and returned for any number of reasons, like the customer changed their mind, some components are missing, or the very rare case, a DOA. If the product is deemed effective, necessary steps would be taken to repair or replace the product, and a new unit would be sold as an open box but the chances of this happening is very rare. Either way, Micro Center is offering a 15 day return window on all the open box items and you still get the manufacturer warranty on there. Now I can't just walk around the store and shop for parts like I normally do because all the open box items are actually kept in the back. But lucky for us, Micro Center has an open box section right on their website where you can browse all the items that are currently available or you can filter each component individually, which is what I'm gonna do in today's video. And you can even reserve the items before making the trip down here. Now, I didn't actually reserve any of the items before coming down here because I like to give you guys the true customer experience so that if you ever do walk into a local micro center, this is the type of experience you can expect. Okay, so let's start from the top and see what type of open box deals micro center has on CPUs. Let's go to processors and filter by open box. There's only one open box CPU, and that is the 7800X 3D processor, which kind of worked out in our favor. I kind of wanted to go with an AMD or AM5 CPU for the build. Oh, it's going for $382. That is $68 off because it's open box. A lot of you guys know uh, most of the components here at Micro Center are noticeably cheaper compared to other retail stores. So not only am I saving money, buying it from Micro Center, but we're shaving off additional money because it's an open box. So I'll give you guys two different savings on the screen, Micro Center savings and also open box savings. And at the end of the video, we'll tally everything and give you uh, the total of how much money I'll be saving from today's shopping. Okay, so when you click on the listing, it tells you what the reason for the open box is. This one says distressed box. So I think the box is damaged, which is pretty wild if you ask me, like just because the box is damaged, we're getting a pretty hefty discount on it. That's crazy. I did say that there is two open box on the website, but the question is how often do they update this, right? Like, is it sold out by the time I got here? I'm gonna have to find someone and ask them and see if they can go in the back and check and see. Wait, what? This is distressed? The box doesn't even seem like it's that beat up. Interesting. Okay, let's open this up real quick. Okay, the CPU definitely needs some cleaning. As long as it's not defective, honestly, I don't care. Doesn't look like there's any physical damages on the CPU itself. Just have to wipe the thermal paste clean and we should be good to go. Can't believe we saved 60 bucks on this. Okay, wow, we are off to a good start, guys. Uh, let's go ahead and see what kind of open box deals we got on GPUs? So, filter, open box, 
14 open box deals. Let's see what we can pair with the 7800X 3D processor. I'm seeing a lot of low end cards, but because we have a pretty high end chip, we gotta pair a high end graphics card with it. Otherwise, we're gonna experience some bottlenecking. The only one I'm seeing on here is the 4080 Super, unfortunately, and the 4090 which is about $100 off, but that's a little too high-end for us. Let's go with the 480 Super. We're also saving about $100 on this because it's open box. Incomplete, so it looks like this is missing some items as well. Let's go and pick this up and uh, investigate further. Here she is, the Ventus 3X 480 Super, $105 off from its listing price. Let's go to unbox it and see what exactly is missing in here. Okay, we got the adapter cable. We got part of the sack bracket. We got the manual, boys. That's it, that's all we need. Looks like the card is in mint condition. Oh, no, we do have a small scrape here. Other than that small scratch, I mean, like I said, the card is in mint condition. Well, it can't be mint anymore because of that scratch, but it's in excellent condition. We are saving $100 on this card. Let's go, baby. All right, now onto the motherboard section. We need to find a nice AM5 board to pair with our Ryzen 7 hey, processor. Yo. This is actually on the shelf here at Micro Center. They only keep the more expensive items in the back, like the graphics card and the CPU, just like you would buy a sealed product. So this is gonna make it a lot easier for us to actually shop around. So here are all the open box motherboards that Micro Center has. And we're looking to find a decently priced one that has all the accessories included. I was told the longer the motherboards are here on the shelf, the lower the price is. So I think they drop it every week in the effort to sell them as soon as possible. The only downside is that I don't know what the condition of the motherboards are. So we're gonna have to inspect each one of them individually until we can find one that we want. $107, okay. Let's keep it as low as possible. So originally this was $143, but now they dropped the price all the way down to $107.96. And actually it tells you the reason why this is open box. It says damaged RAM A1 and A2 slots. So that's obviously not good. Let's put this back. Here's what it's, oh, this was actually less than $100. Let's check this one out. So incomplete, just the motherboard, but honestly for that price, I don't mind it, let's see. So yeah, it doesn't have any SATA cables, Wi-Fi adapter, or even the M.2 screws. But who cares if the motherboard is in excellent condition? Let's check the socket. Yep, looks good to me. I will take this. I'm pretty sure I have a Wi-Fi antenna and some SATA cables back at home anyways. But the amount of money we're saving on this board is definitely worth it. So this motherboard is actually going for $180, brand new sealed and we snagged it for less than 100, so we're saving about 80 bucks. All right, we're gonna need a CPU cooler for the 700X 3D processor, and luckily it is in the same aisle as the motherboard, so let's see what they got here. Be Quiet, Dark Rock Pro 5s. This one's going for $80. We have a slim one as well, it's going for 42. And it looks like all of them are labeled incomplete, so there's probably missing some accessories or some screws. Only one way to find out. Let's go and open this up. The CPU cooler is one of those components where incomplete makes a huge difference because obviously if it's missing the installation screws, we can't install it, which means it'll be useless if we were to buy it. Luckily, we can just open it up here at the store and inspect it before we buy it. Okay, we got the screwdriver. Cooler itself looks like it's in really good condition. Oh, look at that, no thermal paste in the bottom. That's a surprise. No damaged fins. Everything looks good. Let's check the hardware box. Okay, looks like we got the AMD hardware. Both brackets and the screws are here. Maybe the Intel stuff is missing. Oh, we even got the thermal paste. Look at that, it's not used. Yeah, this stuff looks like it's sealed. I have no idea what's incomplete, but we even got the manual in there. Maybe they marked it incomplete because the sticker is missing from the bottom. I highly doubt it, but yeah, I mean, everything looks like it's here, so we will definitely snag this. So our retail price on the cooler is $100. We are snagging it for 80 bucks, so $20 off, not bad. Okay, let's see what they got for DDR5 memory. Desktop memory, open box. Oh, they only got five items. 
Uh, we're not looking good. Dang. They only got the Kingston memory for some reason, and it's the naked PCB versions. There's a few for DDR4, and there's maybe one for the DDR5, and it's 1400 megahertz. That's, that's not gonna work. Oh, they're only single channel also, so that's definitely not gonna work. That's interesting because they used to have open box DDR5 memory here at Micro Center. I guess they stopped doing it. So unfortunately, we're gonna have to buy brand new. So let's head over to the memory section. Okay, it looks like we're gonna be sticking with the Flare XF5s from G-Skill, a simple 32 gigabyte kit at 6,000 megahertz. This is going for $100. This will be just fine. All right, what do they have for storage? Please tell me they got something for storage. I'm okay with just a single one terabyte drive. I don't need much. I don't need much. Let's filter, open box. Okay, they got a few options. Oh, wow, we got a 990 Evo one terabyte M.2 SSD Gen 5 as well for $56. We're saving about 15 bucks going open box, but honestly, it's still a pretty good deal. Okay, yeah, let's go snag it. All right, here's where all the storage devices are. I think I see it. That's crazy, this is a 500 gig that's going for 63 bucks. And then you got a one terabyte that's going for 56. It says incomplete. How, how does an SSD become incomplete? Uh, I mean, the box is in pretty crappy condition, but let's check it out. Maybe it's labeled incomplete because the box is beat up. Oh, it doesn't have the plastic casing. It's just an anti-static bag. Really? Just because of this, it's $15 off? Yeah, I mean, Looks good to me. No physical damages. I will take it. All right guys, we're down to a power supply and a case. Let's see what kind of cases Micro Center has that's open box. We got 30 options. That's a good start. We definitely need a full ATX. Preferably not an O11D. I've built in a lot of those cases recently. So let's try something different. I kind of want to build in the Landcool 216. They have two open box deals, $80. So it's about $30 off, not bad. And then we got the Fractal Design North XL. There's one of these. Oh, this one has a bigger discount, $40. Yeah, my math is math and $40 off. That's actually a better deal. What's wrong with this one? Incomplete. Okay, so my money is on the accessory box is missing or some, some screws are missing. I doubt the triple fans in the front are missing. Otherwise, they would discount it quite a bit more than just $40. Let's go, let's go check it out. So I was told all the open box cases are back here. Basically everything with a yellow sticker is considered an open box deal. There we go, Fractal North. I think this might be it, yep. How convenient. Oh, wait a minute. I think the one we want is XL, right? That's the one I looked up. This one's just a regular one. And it appears to be the white color scheme. So yeah, this is definitely not gonna work. I mean, it's gotta be this one, right? This is the only other North XL in this section. And it's conveniently open. Are all of these open? Oh, they are. I guess it makes it easy for the customers to inspect it. Oh, it's even got the plastic cover on it. Looks like it's brand new. What's missing though? I'm telling you, my money is on the accessory box. Yep, we do not have the installation screws, unfortunately, which is fine. If I'm gonna save $40, just because it doesn't have the hardware, I am completely okay with that. Who the heck returns a case without the hardware kit? Did they just take it out of the box, inspect it, decide they don't want it, put it back in, and then just keep the hardware kit? That makes no sense. All right, last but not least, we need a power supply to finish up the build. Micro Center, please bless me with a really good deal on a power supply. What do we got? What do we got? What do we got? One open box. And it's not even a full ATX power supply. <laughs> Damn it. Dang it, dang it, dang it. I mean, receiving $28, but it's an SFX power supply, low wattage. I definitely don't want to put a 750 with a 4080 Super and a 7800 X3D processor. And also the cable length might be a major issue. So. 
Unfortunately, we're gonna have to buy a brand new power supply to complete the build, so it is what it is. You can't expect to walk into a micro center and build an entirely new system out of just open box components. It's always first come, first serve. Some items do go out of stock, so that's just the reality of the situation. All right, here are the power supplies. Ideally, you wanna go with at least an 850 watt power supply, fully modular, 80 plus gold certified, and ATX 3.0 ready, so we can just plug in the cable directly into our graphics card. So I think power spec's gonna be it, like usual. Sticker price says 170, but I checked the website, it's $100 for the 850 watt gold certified. So that is good enough for me. All right, so all our shopping is done. Let's go ahead and take this back home, assemble it, see if there's anything wrong with the system, and also find out how much money we've actually saved by sticking to only open box products when possible. All right, the PC is done, and uh, if I'm being honest, I'm kind of surprised that the PC boots and works like brand new. The games run like butter, thanks to the 7800X 3D processor and the RTX 4080 Super Combo, and the system runs very quiet with extremely low temps despite not adding any additional fans and sticking with the default three intake fans from the case. Which, by the way, as I was building in it, I discovered that the hardware was in fact not missing. It was just hidden in the plastic bag, which now begs the question, what was incomplete about the case? Everything seems brand new and it's even got the plastic sheet on the side panel. My theory is that even if one single screw is missing, which by the way, a few motherboard screws were missing, I counted, then they are forced to flag it as incomplete. And if that's the case we scored a pretty damn good deal on it now all of these parts brand new would have costed me two thousand two hundred thirty nine dollars but since i opted for open box i saved three hundred twenty five dollars now if you guys want to be really technical let's deduct another fifteen dollars for a replacement wi-fi antenna because the motherboard was missing one so in reality i saved three hundred ten dollars instead i always hardware my pc into the wall so you know i don't really have the need for a wi-fi antenna but i know someone's gonna mention this in the comment section so I'd rather give you guys the calculations for it but to make things even better the 700x 3d processor that I bought actually cost a lot less I wasn't paying attention at the checkout at micro center but when I got home and took a look at the receipt I actually ended up paying $331.79 for it instead of the $382.96 price tag that was listed on the box and the website. So I called and spoke to one of the reps at Micro Center and they told me that uh, the current price just wasn't updated in their system just yet. So the price that I paid was actually the most up-to-date price, which means I actually saved $376 in total shopping for open box items. Guys, don't sleep on open box deals, okay? Next time you're shopping at Micro Center or really any store, Go and check out the open box section, or at the very least, check out the website before you head down there because you can save a ton of money. As always, everything I use for the build will be posted down below. If you guys are enjoying the Micro Center videos, uh, consider subscribing, or at the very least, toss a like. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you very soon in the next one.